What we got, pup? <laughs> All right, so this is the king camp right here. It is pretty much set up. This is gonna be a quick review. I'm not gonna go in depth on how you set it up, every little intricate thing, if you want that. You'll have to find another video because I'm honestly not gonna do it. But I will tell you what I think and all that. So I'll give you the quick 360 view. And yes, we don't have one of the little awning shades up. Uh, you can see it's kind of strung up right there. But it is strapped around. We could strap it a little bit better up top, uh, clip it up to the crossbars. But yeah, so it is big, right? You see this. Um, I don't have any kind of fish lens right now. This is just a regular thing. I need to watch for all these tie downs here. But we got a nice little awning. Then we have this uh, floor here. And no, it's not perfectly set up. I'll say this is, uh, here, let me a second. This is actually pretty complex as far as all the things that need to go in it. And uh, I'll just start off. I won't make you wait till the end of the review, even though this won't be long. We are gonna return this thing. We're gonna get something a little simpler. It took four of us to set up. And yes, as you go and do it a couple times, it's gonna be quicker and that sort of thing. I get all that, but it's definitely a lot. We didn't, this is probably 90% set up. There's still a little bit more to do, but honestly, it just really doesn't seem worth it for a couple of days over 4th of July weekend. Now that said, let me switch. <clears throat> so I'll just give you the quick view just so you can kind of see how we're all set up here. And I got a little chair. This is open right now. Obviously you can close this off. So we can have our screen room in here and then you can have the main tent and you can see our little bed set up right now and the pup's little spot, although we're gonna switch it so that way when he walks in, he's not walking right into our bed first. So we're gonna swap that. Um, got some electric run out here, got a light, little bug zapper and stuff and all that. Don't mind my clothes, about to switch into my bathing suit. It is hot right now. Hopefully you're enjoying your 4th of July weekend. It's hot right now, about to go hop in the pool which is right over there. You can probably hear everybody screaming and everything, having a great time. So, and then obviously this, we have a Lexus LX570. So it's a big truck. And uh, you know, our hopes was to have this, uh, what do you call it? Memory foam gel mattress in here with the middle seats down and we were gonna have it kind of extended out. The reason why we're not doing this is because even though it is kind of, you know, strapped around. You can see there's still some gaps. And even beyond that, it's pretty well, I mean, there's there's gaps, yeah. Some bugs could get in, of course. You can kind of see light peering through. But the real problem is that this inside insulated tent is not completely, like there's too many gaps down below. It's just not well sealed at all. There's not, I mean, yeah, you can stake it all in. That's what I said, it's only 90% done because, okay, we could stake all this extra stuff down, but what is it gonna do when this inside tent has no way of fully zippering and being sealed to the inside? There's no extra zipper piece to kind of make it all one. You get what I'm saying? So it's always gonna be two pieces. So that's why we're gonna return it, get something that's a little more instant up. You know, it takes maybe five minutes to set up instead of maybe, you know, half an hour to, to an hour, depending on how long you're taking and how many people you have. Uh, Cause again, you saw all the stake downs, everything. There's so many clips. Oh, there's there's a uh, uh, Cooper right now. Yeah, he's uh, the resident cat here and he just likes to get into everything. Hey, Coop. Uh, no, 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 no. All right, sorry for the interruption there. Coop would have definitely got all into the truck and he's a great cat, but you know, I don't want him really ripping up the leather while I'm not watching. So anyway. So pretty much what we're gonna do, and the other thing is, yeah, we could sleep in here. I got some screens for the windows, which I'll put up, and I'll probably do a separate review on that very quickly. Um, but I don't, you know, we got the pup with us, so we don't wanna sleep in here and then have to seal ourselves off from everything and then him not be able to see us. You know, we just, we love him. We always want him to be near us and be able to see us and stuff. And so, you know, we don't wanna be separate in the truck. So I think we're just gonna use it to kind of stage most of our stuff you know, zip it off for the night so our tent is closed off from everything. And then um, obviously, you know, we'll use the little screen here. There is a huge screen, so we can probably, uh, you know, get some airflow and some screen from that way as well. Um, but we're gonna do that. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of chilling here for the weekend. So again, not gonna be a super long review. I mean, there is some features and stuff here. You got some pockets. There's like a little electrical spot down there. Some more pockets. You know, you come around here. I'm sure you saw there's some nice pockets up there. I mean, it may work for some people. You can see how, you know, it's completely separated. 
which you know obviously it's nice for this area it's very sealed in but that's pretty much it everything else is kind of open to the elements a little bit and i'm not really a fan of that so um you know there's like a little window here which is pretty neat um you know what i mean can tie that down and stuff so there's some nice features uh obviously this all zips off for like a screened in room but even the floor isn't completely sealed for the screened in room so obviously some bugs can get in here and stuff so uh, we'll probably put one of the other little bug zappers in here just to get rid of some of them that are, are lingering around but yes that is uh the quick review of the king camp uh you know it is a king tent camp that's for sure it is large um but it's not everything that we want it to be and hopefully this review helps you out to decide whether or not it's really going to work for you for you or not you know for almost $400 uh, I just feel like there's some better options and we're really using it just for like weekend stuff you know long weekend stuff Ooh, almost went down there SK almost took a tumble um, and so we just really want it to be sealed off so we can sleep in the truck and have somewhere to get out and just stand up and put our clothes on and just a little spot for the pup to sleep you know what I mean? We don't mind him sleeping in the truck with us, but he kind of likes to sleep on his own a little bit too. And so at least he'll have a little spot down below where he's covered from the elements and, uh, you know, able to sleep as well. And then also, like I said, something that just sets up in five to 10 minutes. Oh, there's the pup now. Hey. Oh, <laughs> goofball. <laughs> All right. So that is the review. It is time to get back to my 4th of July weekend. Again, you can see it is beautiful out here. SK Lifestyle. Hit that like button down below if you appreciate this video. If it helped you out, helped you out at all. I promise I didn't have too many drinks yet. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button as well. And that said, I am uh, out of here. SK Lifestyle.